I always start to scan the pancreas in lung section, and this is what we see. We can see the spine, abdomen artery, pancreas, left lobe of the liver, and adjacent to the pancreas is this bowel, which is often what causes the problems and obscures the uh, pancreas. The good thing about starting in lung section is it allows you to optimise your settings. As you can see, putting your, putting your focus in the right place, optimising your depth, and making sure that your gain and your time gain compensation are actually set correctly. Once you've optimised those settings, what you need to do is rotate the probe to 90 degrees and you're now seeing the, the classical pancreas view here. You can see the head, the body and part of the tail of the pancreas here. Okay, so you need to be scanning in long section to make sure you've seen the, the pancreas properly. Okay, so you just rock it up and down, changing respiration, and then you rotate round from 90 degrees to see the pancreas. To see the tail, you often have to rotate the probe towards the left shoulder, and you'll need to increase your depth, as we are doing here, to see the tail. So with this frozen image, this is the tail of the pancreas, that's the spine, that's the abdominal aorta, SMA, splenic vein, coming up to the portal confluence there. We can just see this in more detail now on this frozen image. 